Welcome to Ether Ascended. Today's Timeless Pick a Card is another mystery message. We have five piles today. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now if you need more time. Just use your pile. See you at your pile. Welcome pile one. If you chose this beautiful crystal, this is your reading. Okay, so let's see what your mystery message is today. So you guys got the rabbit. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing earth sign. So you could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. Doesn't have to be the case. What are you afraid of? There's something you're afraid of. Seems like you're overwhelmed or frozen because you are afraid of something. You could be the kind of person that is always warning people of the dangers of life or maybe someone who is around you is acting this way around you. And maybe this fear is permeating, but I do see fear. I see fight or flight mode. So I'm seeing maybe a lot of cortisol being released to your system, um, stress-related health issues that you may be dealing with. So you need more rest, you need more peaceful environments, you need to keep your stress in check. I'm seeing lower chakras, unbalance, you need some energy healing possibly, some Reiki, something of the sort. I have recently actually um, turned my one-on-one -on -one energy healing Zoom sessions into a guided meditation. If you're interested in that, you can find my email in the description box. It's something you can listen to and it's readily available, but you're dealing with a lot of fear. So my affirmation meditation here on the channel would help you as well with that. You can listen to it for 30 to 90 days minimum for better results, mornings and afternoon, evening, sorry. Um, why did I hear afternoon? I'm seeing sunset here with these colors. This is reminding me of the sunset. So sunsets may be significant. And with the rabbit there, I'm seeing procreation or sexual energy. Too much of it or not enough of it or some frustration here when it comes to sexual frustration tension. You could have a tendency to talk fast or over explain yourself or maybe you're dealing with someone who does this. It seems like you need some silence. You need a day to yourself. It's like you could be a very good listener and you're very sensitive, but there's a lot of other people's energy that's just taking over your own because you're trying to help people solve their problems here. I'm also seeing that. Um, wow. It's just, it just seems like a little bit of chaos that you're dealing with. Maybe why you chose this crystal because you need to feel calm. Okay. Okay. So if this doesn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it does, stick around because we're going to see what the messages are. The unseen. The reason why you're feeling this way is because there's a lot you can't see. There's there's something that's being hidden from you and it's making you nervous and you're fearful of what that may be or you're just fear of the unknown fear of the unknown or fear of the unseen fear of following your intuition okay because there's this earth element you like to be able to touch and to see to believe your faith so there's something here about an issue with your faith and you don't trust the unseen or you can't trust what you don't see with your physical eyes or what you can't touch or the unknown fear of the unknown fear of the unseen because you feel there's something you can't see clearly or something's being hidden from you let's see if this is truly the case or if it's just that you're not following or able to follow your intuition 
Yeah, we have the 12th house. So, yeah, this is you having, um, what is it called? A, a, a faith crisis. You're struggling to surrender to the unknown because you're in fear of the unknown. There's a need for spiritual development and healing here, definitely. Energy healing. You're carrying some baggage, stuff from your subconscious. So what is unseen and being hidden from you is the stuff within yourself, actually. And it's making you nervous. You don't want to see what it is because you don't want to deal with it. It's almost like you're afraid to deal with your own baggage or afraid to see what may be hidden in your subconscious because it's, it's almost like it's comfortable to stay away from it. So you kind of know that it's something big and you don't want to address it or unlock it or access it for some reason because, you know, it may be something very heavy, but maybe you've been having dreams about this. Maybe there is some guilt connected to this or just something that you is so heavy. It may involve a need for forgiveness. You may not be ready. Could have something to do with your mother. Or you as a mother. For some of you, there is a hidden pregnancy and you're afraid to find out. For others of you, there's just some, some kind of um, subconscious, unseen thing to do with your mother here. But it's also saying to birth a new existence in your life or a new chapter, you need to let go, surrender, and heal all of this stuff that is in your subconscious mind and allow it to come out. It will come out though. It seems like a lot is going to come out from your subconscious mind to heal so you can have a new beginning and birth a new kind of life for yourself. For others of you, there is a seed that is being planted of conception here. It could be a new beginning, a new project. If this is a new project, they're saying move in silence. Don't let anyone know what you're doing. Just just do it before you reveal it. When you're re really ready to do it, don't just go tell everyone about it. It seems like right now, oh, for others of you, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Between worlds, yeah, you're definitely in between two different chapters in your life. One is grayish and heavy and sad, maybe dark, painful, and you're going into a more colorful, happier existence. There's progress happening in your life right now. Even if you don't trust it or you don't see it, you can trust it, okay? That is what's happening for you. All right. Um, okay, this could have something to do with a contract or your karmic contract. You're closing out a karmic cycle and starting a new one. This new chapter in your life could involve a contract that is going to bring more balance to your life. You could have Libra or Pisces in your chart. Let's see the tarot. We have the Eight of Air. Yeah, you're a lot in your mind. There's a lot of overthinking, feeling trapped, trapped in fear, trapped in fear of the unknown. Okay. Trapped in your mind, overwhelmed with thoughts, um, obsessive thinking. Yeah, and this is bringing you a lot of pain. Three of Swords, maybe due to pain in the past or stuff that was very painful and it's been buried in your subconscious to the point where you maybe don't even remember it, but you know something is there and you almost don't want to touch it. But you know what? With the Six of Wands being here, you will be victorious, successful over your mental struggles, your pain, the pain is almost over. The pain is almost over. You're going to have a victory over whatever this pain was, whatever this... It's like there's nothing to fear. They're saying don't fear. Again, yeah. A very uh, connection to the material world here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Somewhere strongly in your chart, you like to no deal with what you can see and what you can touch everything else makes you nervous but okay so there's another message here that if you do transition into a new reality if you do transition into a new 
um, reality, a new chapter, you are going to be successful. You're going to be healthy. You're going to be, you're going to have the money you need. And the material world is not going to suffer the way you think it will. It's not going to shake up that much. And with the call being here, you could have a Scorpio in your chart. You're being called to make a decision here. It is up to you which way to go. But if you want to transition into a new life, this could be motherhood, a new project, or a new life altogether. You, whatever you decide to do, if you decide to step into this new reality, you're going to be very successful and life is just going to feel more colorful and warm. See how cold these colors are and the only, even these hot colors are becoming cold here, but then the colors start warming up this way. So don't be afraid to make this decision of what you know is going to make you happy. Don't be afraid to make the decision of what you know is going to make you happy. Because you know what it is deep down, but you're not trusting it because you, it's like you don't have the evidence just yet because it's you're not living in that reality yet. But you feel it. And where you are is becoming uncomfortable. But there is this fear, but there's nothing to be afraid of, basically. Okay? Okay, so that was your mystery message, pile number one. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Um, like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Bye, till next time. Welcome pile two if you chose this chevron amethyst. This crystal is really good for meditation to hold while you're meditating. It assists in meditation. Okay. We have the crow. So you guys could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. There could be a message coming through for you guys. Um, a message coming through uh, with the crow here. Um, I see that colorful egg. The crow is standing on this colorful egg. So there could be something new in your life and something will be communicated to you about something new. Um, or something you're creating. Someone here could be watching you as well. The crow is also a symbol of magic. So you have a gift of clairvoyance. And your clairvoyance is going to become stronger and clearer to you. Daily meditation practice is advised whenever you feel ungrounded or hypersensitive, okay? To clear your mind so these messages can come through clearly. You may need to focus on a healthy diet right now and spending time around people who bring you joy. And also be watchful of yourself. Analyze yourself. Okay. Freedom. So freedom is yours, is what I just heard. Independence. But you have to be determined. But it seems like you are very determined to be free here. The number seven could be relevant. And there's something about your freedom that is being shown to you, the way toward freedom. By the way, your clairvoyance seems to be connected to your independence in some way. We have challenge, square. So life has been challenging. It's like you're being pressured into freedom or something like that. Or to get to freedom, you're going to have to go through certain challenges, but it's going to be worth it. You will work this out. 
There will be some stalls along the way, okay? But right now, with the self being here, you need to focus on what is most important to you. It's all about you right now. So you're in this very independent energy. It's like you're about to create something. It's like a solid foundation and this energy of sacral chakra energy where you're creating something. But you need to free yourself to be able to create this. The number 29 could be relevant to you as well as the number 2. Um, because I'm seeing a pearl here, you could have felt attracted to pile number 1 as well, and there's definitely a message there for you. There's something about you that is multidimensional, that is multi-talented, that is very creative, very colorful. It's like there's a lot more to you than you realize, but you're going to start realizing this you're going to start realizing just that how you have everything to overcome these challenges in your life. Yeah, you've been dealing with some frustrations here around not being able to free yourself. It's almost like you feel oppressed, but it's all in you to free yourself. Basically, you have what it takes to free yourself. You just feel like you're a victim here, but you're not a victim. You can free yourself. You have a lot more power over your life and yourself and the situation you think you do. Oh, I'm just feeling this need to breathe. Absolutely. You're putting too much pressure on yourself or you're feeling a lot of pressure or you're feeling pressured into living a certain way or life is just pressuring you and you want to free yourself from the pressures. We have the number 29 twice. So 29, 29 could be a significant number for you. Angel number 29, 29. You're on the right path toward closing a cycle. Make sure you breathe through it. Make sure you relax. And again, meditate. And with the lotus flower here, it's showing me, yes, you've been through a lot, but you're going to free yourself from this oppression, from whatever has been bogging you down, holding you down, stalling you, frustrating you, pressuring you, demanding of you, these struggles... You're going to break free. We have envy. So, you know, there could be people who are envious of you, who are creating trouble or um, conflict, tension, challenges. Maybe it's just very energetic and you want to free yourself from an environment or such people who are feeling this way, acting this way. The number 20 could be relevant. The number two, you have messenger of earth. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. It's, it seems like it says slow and steady wins the race. You're slowly but surely getting there, whatever there means for you. You're slowly but surely getting there. That is the message for you. Four of earth. You're going to be able to save money if you're wanting to save money, you're going to have enough to be able to save. Make a plan. Your dreams need a practical plan right now. Plan for the future and strategize. You need to plan and strategize something here, okay? The truth will be revealed to you. There is some truth that you're going to get a download of that will be revealed to you. And will show you the way toward a new beginning here. So you're having a breakthrough, an epiphany that is going to allow you to break free from your challenges and a certain prison. It's going to help you break free. And it's your intuition. It's allowing yourself to trust your intuition. You're going to learn about following your intuition. So your claircognizance, your clairvoyance will be very strong. Follow your intuition and that will lead you to freedom. It's all about you. It's all in you. It is all in you. Um, that is your message today, pile number two. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel, save this video if you want to watch again later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, pile three. If you chose this citrine, this is your reading. This is your mystery message. Okay, so you guys got the sea serpent. 
Okay, I'm seeing immediately a lot of spiritual development going on for this pile. You've definitely been working on yourself. Yeah. A lot of uh, deep emotions as well that have been stirred within you. A lot of healing of emotional wounds. If this is something that you don't feel just yet, it is taking place, okay? The more you express yourself, the more you are healing your, your wounds. It's almost like... Your wounds may prevent you from speaking up, but it's exactly by speaking up that you're going to heal them. So there's like deep breaths that are needed for you to speak your truth. It's like whenever you're afraid to speak your truth, take a deep breath and just say it. Yeah, you need to express yourself right now, your emotions or express yourself creatively, express yourself, your sensuality. Your energy is wanting to be moved into a healthy current. So whatever you can do that is healthy for your mind, body and soul, that's what you need to be doing right now because you need more balance in your life. You need to express yourself creatively and sexually freely without fear or shame. You know what it is that you want, but you're afraid to say it. Um, there's something here about a relationship that is meant to be meaningful and enduring, or it could be in your energy right now. But there is a need for you to release self-judgment. Because this thing about judging yourself comes from some kind of wound here. Maybe someone was judgmental toward you and you grew up believing that you needed to judge yourself or something like this. Or you were taught to judge yourself too much. And if you ever experience creative block, it's because you judge yourself. You don't allow yourself to freely express yourself, okay? Adrift, yeah. It's like you need to let go of self-judgment. You need to allow yourself to express yourself because your self-expression is actually coming from a higher source. It's coming from your higher self and it's coming from the higher realms. And there's something that you're meant to express here in this lifetime that you need to let go of lower vibrational self-sabotage and judging yourself to create this flow. And there could be a relationship that is tied into this. The number 27 and the number 9 could be relevant to you. You have the third house. Again, this is about expressing yourself freely. And it could have something to do with social media, networking. You may be stopping yourself from growing a network because of the fact that you stop yourself from communicating because you judge yourself before you speak. Uh, creative writing, free freestyle. So just write down anything that's on your mind without judging it. It's, it helps, it's a good exercise to help you free your, your self-expression. Walk around the neighborhood, uh, walking, walking, talk to people, ask them about their day out. There, there is a need for you to move around and talk to people, ask people about their day, um, ask people questions. Be, be more, there's a need for you to be more curious or something about your natural curiosity here. You could have, um, a Gemini placement or strong Gemini in your chart. But there is a need for you to mingle or network here and ex definitely express yourself, but also be curious. Be curious. And people are also curious about you. And whatever you have to say, it's going to have a, a, a bigger and better impact on others than you think. 
if you just allow yourself. We have the ring here. So there is some form of commitment here. And I'm seeing going around in circles. I'm seeing a lot about rings and circles here. And I'm seeing two rings now. The number 57 could be relevant to you. The number 57 as well as the number 12 and the number 3. Again, we have master number 33. That could be relevant. 57, ring, commitment, commitment, something about commitment and a connection, a connection, infinity, a connection that is infinite, never ending human connection, connect to others. Are you starving for connection? <sighs> Widen your, your circle. Widen your network. You need to connect more to others. There is a need for connection here. Round and round. Again, this energy of going around in circles. Are you going around in circles? What are you going around in circles with? Okay, a cycle. There's a cycle that you're refusing to close. And it takes walking away. The number 27 could be relevant, the number 9. You need to walk away from something and you're refusing to walk away and it keeps you in the same cycle, going round and round in circles. The number 25 could be relevant, the number 7. You need to close the cycle. Ten of Swords, it's time to put it behind you because it's causing you pain. You need to manifest a new life. There's a lot of instability here. You're feeling very unstable, but you want to manifest a new beginning. Gemini energy, Virgo energy. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. Are you hiding your feelings? Hiding your emotions? For some of you, you need to cl close the cycle with the Gemini. Or if you're a Gemini, you need to close the cycle if you have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces in your chart. A cycle of a commitment where you're committed for different reasons. For some of you, you're walking away, closing a cycle, having an ending in your life, manifesting a new beginning where there's someone coming into your life who's very loving, very stable, who is emotional fulfillment. For others of you, what you need to know is if you do choose to close this cycle, you are manifesting a lot of love in your life. The epitome of emotional fulfillment, but you need to end this cycle. And the cycle of isolation. If you've been too isolated, you need to end this cycle. Yeah, maybe you're spending too much time at home, not getting out enough. Either way, your household situation will be improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So maybe it's that you need to move away from a home environment here. You have goddess. So this goddess could be significant to you. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Maybe you are this goddess energy and you know how to take care of a home and your energy is very feminine. And the way you express your divine feminine energy is attracting in a divine masculine energy with whom you are having a commitment. But it's almost like you need to get out there and date or go on dates with this person or allow yourself to. Again, now, if you're masculine energy, there is this goddess-like divine feminine energy around your energy. But you need to walk away from isolating yourself in your home. Or move away from what you've been doing the same way day in, day out. 
so that you can experience this emotional fulfillment and express those feelings you've been hiding. I'm seeing someone here who is hiding feelings. They will express themselves more. And if this is you, you are being encouraged to express your feelings because that is going to attract in a lot of emotional fulfillment. So that was your reading, pile number three. It was a pleasure to read for you today. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all, and see you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Paul 4. If you chose this pre-night, this is your mystery message. So let's see. Guys got the whale. So you could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. The whale is something about ancient wisdom, ancestral wisdom as well. Um, old soul. You're an old soul. You have access to ancient or ancestral wisdom. Your ancestors are definitely with you. Your There's a desire here for you to dive deeper, to delve deeper. And there's also a sense of profound peace coming your way. It could be that you sometimes are very nostalgic and you slip into an, some kind of old story that is very heavy. You're otherwise someone who is very calm and steady, very deeply compassionate, but you need to take care of yourself, otherwise you could feel very heavy. So you need regular self-care. You need to take care of your emotional health, your stability, Seems like you're going through something very difficult right now, but you will overcome these challenges. These experiences that you're going through that are heavy or you have gone through recently are there to enrich your life, to, to give you strength and depth that not many people have. And there's beauty in the pain and love through this pain. You're the kind of person, you're this beacon in people's darkest hours. When everyone else is lost, you are, you bring people a sense of direction. Okay? We have something about, you're going to receive something. Be ready to receive something. We have the number three there. We have Empress Energy. You could have Taurus or Libra in your chart. doesn't have to be. But get ready to receive something. You are about to receive a gift. Allow yourself to receive this gift. So, it's a gift of abundance. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to collaborate with someone. It's, this opportunity is going to come from someone you've helped in the past. It's an opportunity to synergize your talents, your skills, your knowledge, your expertise with those of other people. Doors are going to open for you. You're going to be welcomed somewhere and you're going to develop a skill or some talent that you have. The prayer, this is something you've prayed for. The number nine, sorry, the number 45 could be relevant to you as well as the number nine. Something you've prayed for clean it up yeah get ready for this just make sure you're ready okay clean up your act get your ish together because it's coming and we have love angel of love something you love or love is coming your way the number 49 could be relevant a new beginning in love that starts with self-love a new beginning doing something you love Beware of self-sabotage. Don't, self, don't sabotage this with negative thinking or negative self-talk. Don't allow your mind to sway. Well, not sway, but don't allow your mind to interfere too much because this is something you've prayed for. 
Don't push it away by overthinking it. Careful with low vibrational thinking. Careful with lack mentality and self-sabotage. You could be you could be letting go of something that's really good be, by being too defensive here. Careful about being too defensive, especially if this is a gift of love. Bring your walls down. Yeah, you've created a sacred space for yourself. You're really protective of your energy. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. Don't stop yourself speaking up out of fear, okay? Don't allow fear to ruin what would otherwise be a beautiful experience in your life. A gift of love, a gift of doing something you love. You deserve all the good things you think other people deserve, okay? This is something you've prayed for, so don't push it away. This was your message, pile number four. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Short and simple, if you want another message, go ahead and click on another pile. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it again later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Welcome Pile 5. If you chose this black tourmaline tower point, this is your mystery message and you guys got the tarantula. So you could have a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart. You could be feeling especially motivated. If not, you're about to. Um, feel very creative. I'm seeing base chakra, base chakra energy, a need for stability that you may be feeling. You could be at a crossroads. So this crossroads I feel is about living in your purpose, your life purpose. You may have recently discovered what that is. You could not know what it is and be curious about it. I do life purpose reports, by the way, based on your tropical natal astro astrological chart. My email is in the description box if you'd like to find out more about that service. But you are at the precipice of moving out of your comfort zone in order to create the life that you were meant to create. And this is scary. With the Black tourmaline being here, this is telling you that you are protected, highly protected. And yes, while it may be uncomfortable, it is also the most rewarding and fulfilling experience that you will have living in your life purpose. Living in your purpose according to your soul's mission. There's a need to follow your intuition here, but maybe you could be hesitating or over-intellectualizing or overthinking things. Daily journaling will help you clear your mind and access your intuition right now. If you're dealing with fear, you want to go check out my affirmation meditation that is here on the channel. It will help you move away from this energy of fear of moving out of your comfort zone. But there is a need here for you to prioritize your life's purpose right now because there is a deeper purpose to your life and you are wanting to live in a more meaningful way. There is a habit or a routine from the past that may be sidetracking you from living some kind of life that you want to live or some kind of dream that you have. But you have this voice inside you that keeps nudging you trying to refocus your attention in a certain direction but it's scary to you at the same time but don't ignore that because that is your intuition yeah because the only way you are able to find true happiness is by choosing dharma by choosing to live in your life purpose because until you do any satisfaction you feel will be fleeting
it's like you already know what you have to do, what, what will bring you happiness, but there's a fear behind it. It's a hope and a fear in the same, at the same time. It's something that you hope for the most, but you're also very fearful of, but it's exactly what you need to be doing. Experiments. You're afraid that you're afraid that you will be met with cruelty or that you will be met, met with negativity if you do this. You're afraid that because this is so uncomfortable, you're afraid that this is a manipulation of your nature, but it's not. The number 33 could be relevant to you. Oh, also there's another message coming through. If anyone is messing with your energy, just know that you are being protected if they're messing energetically with you. We have the seventh house here. Your relationships are protected. The cave. The number 32 could be relevant. You're about to have a victory over a situation that has been keeping you stuck or a situation where you have been feeling stuck and lonely. You're being encouraged to explore beyond what you're used to. You need to speak up. You've been holding too much back and it could be causing you throat issues. The number 39 could be relevant. You need to speak up in a relationship, a certain relationship, so that you can experience happiness or speak up about a certain relationship or tell someone how you feel, how they make you feel, how happy you make them feel. Maybe there's a reconciliation here that's going to bring you happiness. There is a possibility to unite, reunite, come together, see each other again. If things have been stagnant between you and someone you really love, you see as a partner that you could be with, or things are going to start moving, but you need to make the choice to live in your life purpose. That is how you're going to close a karmic cycle and live in your dharma. Page of air. Don't. Don't just stay in the sidelines and observe, participate more. But also, if you don't know what your life purpose is, do more research on it. Find out more about life purpose, as I'm seeing here. And if there's something you want to know about someone who is a close relationship to you, ask. If, you, if there's something you want to say, just say it. There is definitely an energy here of a solid friendship that is more than just a friendship. There's a past life here and this is a higher level soulmate. There's a reunion and a reconciliation coming or a physical meeting. We have the arts. This person could be artistic. You could try something new. It says express yourself through creative arts and activities. Try something new. Try Move out of your comfort zone. Your life purpose could be connected to the arts in some way or doing something creative. It could be connected to animals. There is a power animal. One of your power animals is the horse. There is an animal spirit guiding you and, and, and this is your guardian and it's helping you through the situation. And I do feel the tarantula is a power animal for you. It is your animal spirit or an animal totem for you. The tarantula. Is there anything else? No, that is all. These were very um, short messages today. So that was your reading, Pile 5. Um, if you feel like you needed more information, you can go and check out the other